<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. Good afternoon people, can I say, <laughs> it's right my beer, um, you meant to see the machine but, yeah I think they're going to see it, they're just, kind of, you see the bloody, if I could just whack that, anyway, we're doing the um, second perfect draft release, yeah, we've done the, the, the Camden Power haven't we, we have, and this one is um, another one that's a bit of a, oh what's this going to be like, yeah, we've been messing around with a half between us, and I changed my mind about five times what I was going to say in this review, but that's me. Um, it's the orange, it's the Magic Rock Orange. Get it right. Actually, get it right. Yeah, it's a perfect chocolate exclusive, isn't it? It's the Magic Rock Chocolate Orange Stout. That's the one. It comes out at 5% ABV. Um, fortunately, um, Dan and me were talking about this, Dan that actually worked on, Dan from Perfect Draft, a lot of you know him from Facebook groups, he actually worked on the brewing of this and everything, didn't he? Mm, so he's really excited, he's quite a stout man is Dan, isn't he? More so than me or you. Yeah, uh, yeah um, I'm quite new to stouts. Quite... Yeah, I'm not a stout expert and I was chatting to Dan about it and everything, wasn't it? Um, he fortunately sent me the keg to see what, or it was more so for you, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I do like I do like to try style. I yeah, and yeah. I said, well, I don't know how to do that one on YouTube. After obviously, as a lot of you know, I slated the can um, only four months ago, but the can was very different. The can was six percent. This was five percent. I know you can go, yeah, 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 yeah. The keg's always better than the can, and so on. It's a totally different experience, isn't it? It's not even yeah. close. I think most people that you ask if they if they've got a, not a poor. A, perfect drop machine, they would say they usually find the drinks are better. Well, it's very rare, isn't it? They're, they're even similar. Yeah. So yeah, that bloody, does tend to be the I'll case. Do that, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll do a classic. I don't think they can see that. Oh, no, I'm yeah, just doing another yeah, classic. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. I've got a... I had to do that because there you go. It's a, it's a magic rounded glass. Um, I have watched a review of this, I'll be honest. I watched um, Bazza, All the Beer No Idea, who did his review yesterday. I was actually the one messaging him <laughs> when he was like, get out, Paul. So there you go. Getting in the way while I was trying to do his review. <laughs> well, I didn't think he was doing it yet. I was asking. It's a long story, but it's funny. But yeah, um, I took on to board a few points because Bazza is more into his stouts, isn't he? Yeah. Than us. So we're looking at this. Lovely dark rich colour. Yeah. And there's a nice creamy head on there. Yeah, it's a nice off white. Yeah. Didn't we decide it was yeah, like creamy. off white? I'll, just, I'll show it again if you can pick it up. Yeah, it will, wouldn't it? It's quite a thick head as well, mm. isn't it? It's really, I can't really do the top because you know what's going to happen, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do a, I'm going to do a, yeah, that's just not go there on that, isn't it? But yeah, hold on, that should be down a little bit, shouldn't it? Uh, that's it, so the beer's more in it, you see? I care about everyone. As I say, yeah, um, I wasn't sure on this, was I? Yeah, for you, scouts are a big, Oh, you're still trying to get used to them and trying them and things. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a stout man. But, like the coconut one, the birthday one for Wiper and True, that's absolutely lovely. I didn't mind this one, um, the, uh, Ma the old Magic Rock one, the 6% that came out when we got a load of cheap kegs, didn't mm. we, for it? Um, the Dark Arts. The Dark Arts, yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mind that. Yeah, I could really agree to that. <laughs> but it, it gets to the point of what, what Bazza said. It, with the Dark Arts, it, it wasn't a session style. Now this, 
it's completely different, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you? Let's go on the. And then it'll make more wow. sense what I'm saying. Yeah. The aroma of this, I am getting um, a chocolatey aroma. I am picking up a bit of orange. It's a little very bit of coffee in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you see, I'm getting like we were talking about earlier, wasn't it? Obviously, where we just come back from Malaysia recently, I drank a load of cold coffees, like mm. um, Nestle's ones, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't like, there's only one I like in England, the one in Home Bargains, funny enough, which is cheap, but it's got yeah. that, and it's got that in the taste. But, you know, like sweet coffee, nice coffee, like cappuccino, latte, and everything. Right, let's dive in. Yes. Yeah. It's really hard, as I say. I'm no expert on any beer, and I'm certainly not no expert. On a stout. Have your taste and then we'll, we'll go through it. Mm. Are you getting the same flavours as earlier? He couldn't quite make up his mind what he was tasting. For me, this is, it, it's not quite as heavy as some of the, the other stouts that I've tried. It, it, it has quite a, a light, refreshing kind of quality to it there's um a little bit of carbonation in there and yep, it's moderate the, around the yeah. mouth which is moving it round yeah i'll we'll get that there is a, um, a slight creaminess to it and sweetness to it there's a lovely sweetness isn't there yeah so um you have got quite a big array of flavors going on because from the beginning i am tasting i'm tasting a little bit of vanilla in there there is a little bit of something sweet yeah basil said that as well didn't you're vanilla. getting chocolatey taste for me it is more of a dark chocolate taste than a milk chocolate taste yeah you see I'd... but it's still creamy because of the no, vanilla going saying, yeah. in there yeah. and i think that's from the um ca cacao i think that's how you pronounce it which is where uh, cocoa powder originates from i believe um and that can have quite a bitter taste and i think that's what's giving it the dark chocolate taste and it's all sort of kind of blended off nicely with this orangey taste. For me, it's almost like a marmalade taste. It's there and it's mixing well with the other flavours. It's not overpowering. Yeah, no, well, I get you. But I'm, I, the only difference, I go along with what you say. I don't normally, obviously, but <laughs> and it's a lot easier for me, isn't it? But for me, I think it's more of a milk chocolate taste and I'm picking up more coffee than you. But like I say, not mm. coffee like... Do you know you get the, some of them stouts? That they, it's like they just whack coffee in them. You're like, yeah, ah. that that was that was my sort of last point I wanted to come on to. Some of the things that um, puts me off a lot of stouts, and this is purely just because it's personal taste. I don't like it. Is when they're really heavily um, coffee tasting. That just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, it's like like strong coffee, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not, this, this, this is one, nothing like that. The coffee in there is subtle. And it's a nice, but it's nice. It's a roasted kind of taste to it, but not in the it, overpowering. It's not overpowering. It's subtle. No, another point I made as well was if you weren't a predominant stout drinker like myself, yeah. this is a stout that even if you didn't like a stout, yeah. you could well like it because and that's quite an endorsement for him because there's a lot of um, he love what he said. Yeah, I don't know. It's like with it, like I say. I, as I said earlier, I was fortunate enough not have to have to pay the ke pay for the keg. I didn't have to do the review. That was up to me. Or at one stage, you was just going to do yeah, it. Yeah, oh, he was going to leave me to it, do it up, man. That was irrelevant. We didn't have to do this review, did we? It was like through, through choice. But I was quite surprised at first. And I did change my mind, as I say, at least three times, didn't I, when we were having a drink, obviously, before doing this. But I still get that, as I said, that latte, that... But that, do you know what I mean? That cold sweetness. Yeah. I, I, I'm it is balanced off with the bitterness. That, I'm kind of putting that down to the kind of vanilla, vanilla -y taste I'm picking up. Oh, yeah. From that. Hey, everyone that's brought the new pegs, <laughs> it's Dan's chocolate treats. Well, chocolate pretzels, isn't it? So, I've walked knowing Dan, they'll be out of date. But they're actually the 10th, 23. You see? Yeah, I so, don't know what I think about this. It's really crunchy. <laughs> Only 144 calories in the pack. So, let's have a look. What? The round? It looks like um, looks like a Malteser. Yeah, 
the round or minister not minister yeah I'm not the round right then <laughs> huh what is that nice <laughs> no, don't like it uh, bollocks to that no go on you might <laughs> no, like no, it no 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 not on camera oh well, I was up like, <laughs> right so anyway like I said I'm not so sure about the indie day I, I, I think a lot of people will be built like Mr Smear it's not not Love and make sustainable chip. Oh. Drive them. It's not. It's just not for men. You probably like it. Well, nothing wrong with that. What's up with you? It's just me. I don't like it. Yeah, that has a two. Hmm. Not good job, man. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, it was a hard one coming into it. But it was nice, there was no pressure, and it was like, it was like one stage I weren't going to sit in it. But it gets back to, to Baz's review, and a real good point that Baz made was with a lot of stouts, as we said, isn't it? Mm. How many of them could you do? See, I do love a Terry's chocolate orange, I like that orange. With the, the, the hint of, the chocolate with the hint of orange. And this is what that has. And it is that nice orangey taste that... At the end you get yeah. the orange though. You get a bit of this. It's a marmalade orange for me. And then you get a... Do you know what? They go together with that. Yeah, bringing out the chocolate, isn't it? Mm. The chocolate taste. Oh, I get it. That's probably what it was for. With the stout. Rather than the candle. But yeah, that's... That's yeah. nice. It's, as I say, it's it, it, it isn't as heavy as some of the other stouts I've tried. No, and the 5% mm. is quite, yeah, we're always going to say, and a lot of people did say that, it's a bit late to come out. You can argue that it should have been out November, December, January, but it's here when it's here. You know, it is limited edition. It's, it could well be a one off. If you like a stout, I think you're going to like it. Yeah, definitely. It's not too much of an orange hit because a lot of people say I don't like orange. So I love orange, but then I'm not that much of a stout brand. But yeah, for me, that's a the win. The flavours, um, nothing's sort of overpowering anything else. They're all blended well together. You have got that, that the slight sweet vanilla-ish taste. You've got the marmalade orange, but I find it to be Yeah, that's fair lady. enough. We're not all going to um, be the same, are we? That chocolate taste. Well, it's a cracker over there, and I would definitely have more than one. Would you, would, would, would you get it again? I'd drink that again. Yeah, definitely. Well, it will be, yeah. You've got yeah. Eight and a half pints over in there. Is that, yeah, no, it oh, is. I don't oh, know what I meant to I'll say. A... We've kept it on this sort of occasion, sorry. We kept it recommended six degrees. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a yes. Yeah, this goes a yes for me as well. I, I like that. Well, I'm going to give it I, a yes. I've not tried massive amounts of stouts, but from the ones I have tried, this is a really good one, it's one that I'll come back to and drink again. So yeah, it gets a yes and I rate my beer of eight for me. Oh, you love that eight number eight, don't you? I've really got eight to go I haven't got right, enough. Yeah. I'm a drunk enough stout to go and give a rating, but it's a yes. I know it's a definite mm -hmm. yes. Fair enough. I would, well, I'll be drinking one after we finish this. You quite enjoyed it, haven't it was, you? It really surprised me. <laughs> and I'm going to get that, oh yeah, no, you're going to say that. And it's like, yeah, okay, but... As I say, I didn't have to do this. I yeah. didn't have to say anything. I could have said what I liked. Um, I didn't expect to like it. Yeah, that, that that's what's quite surprising for me. And I think you've even surprised yourself is that you actually drank it and enjoyed it. It's not been one of those ones. Oh, yeah. That you've I, tried it. And thought, oh, I, was, <laughs> I kept saying to you when Dad, we obviously we exchanged a lot of messages about the new release and everything. And I kept saying to you, he's so confident of that. And I'm thinking, well, he would be, wouldn't he? Because it's, you know, of course he's going to, isn't he? But, you know, I can see why the flavours all work really well with each yeah. other. Yeah, I can't see, I mean, you see Bazza, how much he likes it. Yeah. I can't see anyone not liking this. And as I say, we're better end because this is getting too long. I think okay, if yeah, you I weren't into stouts, <laughs> that is one that even a non-stout drinker would enjoy. Would enjoy. Yeah, I'd agree right. with that. Thanks for watching. Sorry. Bonjour. Yeah.